In today's video, we're going to be interviewing Lillian. Lillian was able to get a job in digital marketing and she has a really cool story and I'm super excited to share it here. So we're going to jump into it right now. Hey, Lillian, thank you so much for coming on the channel. I really appreciate it. Sorry about being late again. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but. <all> <laughs> Thanks for coming on the channel. And uh, I just wanted to bring you on here today to kind of just talk about your digital marketing journey um, from the very beginning, you know, talk about how you discovered digital marketing all the way up to this point. Um, so yeah, could you uh, maybe just give a little brief introduction of yourself and then uh, talk about kind of how you discovered digital marketing? Yeah, so I first discovered digital marketing a while back, actually, um, back in like 2017 when I started like learning about Facebook ads and everything like that. And that was like my first introduction. Um, so technically at that time I was doing paid social um, and I was getting like Facebook clients and just helping them run their Facebook ads. And then I took a long break, <laughs> well not a long break, but I would say I wasn't doing it as actively as I um, initially started. So then fast forward 2022, um, I decided that I wanna get into um, the PPC world um, and that's pretty much when I came across Seth's course and I just dove deep into it. Okay, awesome. So you, so you got into the social media marketing agency stuff that kind of got you into digital marketing. You saw the value of digital marketing. Um, and then you discovered a different course, which is uh, Seth's course. How did you uh, stumble upon that one? I was in the, uh, the real estate world and I actually was trying to figure out, because like I've always been the type to want to be virtual. So that's why I originally got into digital marketing. So as of recently, I was actually in the real estate world and I knew I wanted to be as um, virtual as possible. And as an agent, as a real estate agent, you really can't be virtual. So I just started like digging online, trying to figure out how can I actually stay in real estate, but still be like virtual. So I don't even know. I was just typing random things in, in um in, in YouTube. And then I came across this video by this woman who was basically telling you how to get into like finance as a virtual, like a remote job. And then she also mentioned other remote jobs. And one of them was a digital marketing job. And then she mentioned Seth's course. So I don't even know how I stumbled upon it like that, but I did. Um, so then I looked at it and I was like, okay, this looks, it looks pretty legit. I was like, you know, what, let me take a step back before I jump into this. I want to make sure it's something I actually want to do. And then I went on his YouTube channel and he had like over a hundred testimonials. I'm like, okay, like this is real. Like his whole channel is dedicated to his students getting zapped. So I was just like, you know what? What's the worst that could happen? Like all these other programs I've taken has been to start an entrepreneurial journey, but I've never taken a course to start you know, to get a job. So I thought that was really interesting. And at that point in my life, I felt like it was necessary. So I took it and you know, and behold, it worked three months later and I got a job. Yeah. So uh, Seth's course, I mean, there's literally like hundreds of video interviews. There's probably thousands of messages, like text messages, uh, Facebook messages, LinkedIn, uh, uh, et cetera, et cetera, Instagram, you know, that, that he has posted on his Instagram as well. There's probably thousands at this point. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, there's literally just like an abundance of evidence that he is successfully getting lots and lots of people jobs. Um, mm -hmm. And then one thing I'll say about digital marketing, especially with entrepreneurship, is digital marketing is probably one of the most valuable skills you can learn if you want to start yes. a business later on. So yeah, the way I, I think agree. about it, yeah, yeah. It, the way I think about it is like, you're basically getting paid to learn a super, super valuable skill. So if you're yeah. somebody who wants to start a business later on down the line, if you're watching this, uh, digital marketing is one of the most valuable uh, skills you can learn for sure. So um, that's awesome. That's awesome. So um, you basically decided to buy Seth's course uh, because there were so many testimonials and, and it was kind of a good skill set to learn. So how was the course itself? Yeah, so the course was really good. Um, so basically he gave an introduction on like what it is, PPC, which is pay-per-click, um, SEO, search engine optimization. So he gave a really good like background of what these different skills were and how they work together. Um, and then he kind of basically explains how you can like choose either path. Um, I really liked how he showed like the different salary ranges and everything like that. So he goes pretty, um, he starts out basic. He also gives you some mindset training, which is really, really important for people who haven't done that. Luckily for me, 
I mean, I definitely went through it, but I kind of had a good understanding because if you're an entrepreneur, mm-hmm. you definitely have to like go through all that self-development stuff. Yeah. So I thought that was really helpful for the, you know, for everybody else who hasn't done it. Um, but I still, it was still a good refresher for myself as well. So besides like the basic understanding, he eventually starts to go a little bit deeper into both concepts. Um, and then what's really, really valuable, two things were really valuable is the, the, um, basically how he gives you, he allows you to, or helps you generate the experience that you need to actually get a job. Cause that's the biggest thing. Cause a lot of people will be like skeptical, skeptical about how to even get a job if, it, if they're requiring you to have experience. And he has a whole section that shows you how to generate your own experience, which was super valuable. And then the second part for me that was really valuable was the interview section. Cause I had never interviewed for a job in digital marketing, even though I've had clients in the past. Interviewing for a, a, a job is a whole different like ball game. So I thought it was really helpful. He has like a whole guide of like common questions that they ask for on the PPC side and on the SEO side. Then he has a resume. Um, he shows you how to build your resume for each each skill, whether it be PPC, SEO, or both. Um, so he really, basically gives you all the tools that you need to go into the interview, kill the interview, and you know get started in the job. So I mean, the whole course was like dead on because like even down to the common questions there's a sheet of common questions that he gives you that they ask like interviewers ask and I remember my first interview it was like I swear the the lady who was interviewing me was like going down the list of all the questions that he had gave me or gave the group and I was like this is crazy how spot on he is but obviously he's been in the field so it makes sense so yeah I mean he gives you all the tools you you need to, to to get into it got it that's awesome okay and then how long exactly did it take you to uh, get through the the whole course material and then land your first entry level job? I think you said three months, right? Yeah, so three months. Started it like towards the end of May, and then I landed a job. So I actually took like a two week vacation, two and a half week vacation, and I landed a job in August. So it took me about honestly, it took me about two months to get through like the whole course, and then you know he recommends to go through it the second time to start applying. So the first time I went through it, I just went and just you know took some notes, got it in my head. And then the second time is when I started actually applying all the things that he says, such as the, um, the section where you're generating your own experience. So all in all, it took me about three solid months. Um, but at the end of the day, he does say to give yourself time. It could be three months, it could be six months, even nine months. Um, so it really depends. And the great thing about my situation was I didn't interview with that many companies. I only really applied to like eight or nine companies. And I got interviews for like, six or seven of them like because of the resume that he gives you it's like so spot on like I was getting calls every time I interviewed whereas the other people in the course unfortunately they are like bulk applying like two 200 applications they're like oh I didn't get anything it's like and he tells you like you can't just like bulk apply to all these different jobs you have to make it individual or specific to that job so yeah I mean my job I just literally followed his steps like that's all I did got it And would you say uh, this is one of those careers where you have to have like background experience or a college degree or anything like that to get into it? No. And that's what's so crazy because you really don't need a college degree at all or any experience. Like, like I said, he shows you how to generate your own experience and these jobs or these companies that are, you know, looking for entry level people, like they don't really, even though they might say they want like one year of experience. Like they don't really expect you to have that much experience. They just want you to have a basic understanding of it and just kind of know what you're talking about when it comes to certain things. So you really don't need any experience because you could generate your own experience, which is great. And they're not looking for a whole lot of experience. And you gotta think about it, the industry is fairly new within like the last 10 years, 15 years, whatever it is that, you know, all these platforms started getting all this, you know, putting all this ad space on there. So yeah, I mean, you don't need a a degree or experience and you can make six figures within the field which is crazy to me wow yeah it it really is yeah it's uh it's definitely one of the best opportunities out there right now for sure so let's go ahead and talk about salary um you don't have to give your own numbers if if you're comfortable doing that I, i know people would probably appreciate that but uh just generally speaking in your first entry level job what would you kind of expect uh, to make in digital marketing? Yeah, so um, within this field, and Seth said the same thing, at this point, especially with inflation, you really shouldn't accept a job that's like less than 50K, maybe like 45. But between 45 and 55, I would say is what the entry-level person is making. 
And same thing as Seth says, after like a year, you can get into that 70K mark. After like two years, 90, you know, and it just keeps going up and up. But within like two to three years, um, based on what Seth has told me, my own research and the students in the group, people are making six figures within like three years. So um, yeah, entry level, definitely between 45 to 55. Got it. Okay. Yeah. And I, the way I look at that is um, it's almost like, I mean, because so many other careers out there, you'd have to go to college or you'd have to do some sort of apprenticeship or, or something along those lines. And the way I look at it is you're basically getting paid to learn, right? So if you're exactly. able to, to get into a career, get paid 50000 a year to learn the first year, I mean, that is, that's pretty awesome compared to paying 50,000 a year <laughs> to learn exactly right? I, I'll take that like if I would have known about this in high school maybe I would have went a different route <laughs> oh I know god I know I tell people who who reach out to me because they're like oh you went and got went into pharmacy school I'm like man if I knew about if these opportunities were available to me in high school if I knew about this stuff I, I mean, come on, I would have, I would have went around a different route. Yeah, this is like right. a cheat code. This is basically, this stuff is like a cheat code. This stuff I exactly. talk about on my channel. This is like, exactly. uh, it's never been available before. So awesome. Awesome. Um, so I kind of wanted to get into a little bit of personality thing. So you, I believe you said you kind of specialized in pay-per-click, right? Um, yeah. So what would you say, I, I know that there's a lot of different routes you can go down in digital marketing, you know, SEO, pay-per-click, more social media uh, route. So personality wise, is there a particular type of personality that tends to do well in digital marketing? I wouldn't really know which personality does better, but it's kind of interesting for me because I've always been in like a sales position. So, um, you know, that's obviously more of you definitely have to be willing to talk to people and, you know. So this being a position where I don't have to worry about closing a deal or don't have to talk, like I'm still talking to people, like I'm talking to my team members, you know, working on different ads together and everything like that. So, I mean, if you're like an introvert and you don't want to talk to anybody, you probably, this is probably a good field for you because I mean, at least you have to be able to communicate with your teammate. Um, but I still think even if you are an extrovert, then, um, you know, it works better in your favor because for me, I know I reach out to my teammates all the time. Like I'm always asking them questions and obviously that's a, a, a communication is a big, a big part of it. So I think either personality can really thrive. Um, and of course, as you grow within the field, you can get into different, different aspects. Like you could become an account manager, which is like a client facing role. So you can, you can basically be overseeing like the PPC accounts and still dealing directly with the clients and having meetings. So it really depends what, what you feel comfortable in, or you can just stay like, you know, in the pay-per-click route and just simply be working on accounts. So either one can really thrive in the, in the industry, honestly. Got it. And then what about like uh, creative versus analytical types? Would you say that there's okay. a good amount of opportunity for, for both different types of people as well? Yeah. So definitely analytical is, is like, you got to be able to work with numbers. So you have to analyze what is going on with each campaign and understand you know what these numbers mean um and also from a creative standpoint because I, I i would consider myself a creative person um i still think you do have the flexibility to um show your creativity with it within this obviously it's from the standpoint of like you know maybe coordinating with like your your digital designer or your graphic designer on what you think might be the best content for this specific ad so i still think you are able to um, be creative in this position. Um, but again, it comes down to you still have to communicate with your teammates to get that message across. Um, so I can't really say, I guess maybe more analytical because you're definitely dealing with numbers, but I still say you can use your creative side too. And by the way, guys, I will put a link to Seth's free masterclass that you can take. Basically, it's going to go over digital marketing, uh, whether it's a good fit for your personality, um, kind of just a general overview of digital marketing, anything that you're going to want to learn about it, basically, I'll put that down in the description as well as the pinned comment below. Definitely check it out. So what would you say uh, for somebody who's kind of like on the fence about investing in Seth's course and just maybe going into digital marketing in general? What would you uh, say to that person? Yeah, I mean, when it comes to Seth's course, you got all the proof that you need on his YouTube channel. So like, I think I watched every interview possible on his channel. Like if you really need convincing, 
You can go on there. You can search everybody on there on LinkedIn. You can contact those people. They'll probably tell you the same story that's on the, on the video. Um, so if you're serious about getting into it as a career, I think that's the best course to um, jump into in order to start your career in the digital marketing space. Um, I think it's a great industry to learn one of the most important aspects of any business. Like you said, I think like no business can survive without digital marketing in this, you know, in this society right now. So um, if you ever wanted to start a business, you can get into this field, learn all about digital marketing and, uh, and start your own agency maybe in the future or a freelance. So you can always add additional income if you are working a job. And then, yeah, I mean, I just think that the, the field is great, especially for growth too. If you wanted to just focus on, you know, building your career within the industry, the, gro the rate to grow your income in this industry is really great. So I don't see any cons to it, honestly. Unless you just don't like being behind a computer. If you don't, then it's probably not the field for you. <laughs> yeah, I'll just throw my two cents in there. Of course, I'm, I'm pretty biased, but I'll throw my two cents in there. Um, there's a lot of different careers out there where it's a good fit for like maybe 10% of people that I talk to. And of course, I've done tons of consulting over the years. So it's like, you know, when I'm able to consult with people and like talk back and forth, I'm able to kind of figure out, okay, this is going to be a good career for you. But digital marketing is the one career where you send people to it. And it's just like, it seems like there's a good fit for everybody, whether you're creative or analytical or like, like introverted or extroverted, like there, there's, uh, there's different paths you can go down. And it seems like everybody seems to be relatively happy with one of them, at least in digital marketing. So I'll just throw the, you know, my two cents there. Like the other course that I talk about is like my tech sales course. And uh, it's great. It gets people great results as well. But, you know, it's a sales position. So not not necessarily everyone can do that um, and or not necessarily everyone would want to do that. So um, I'll, that's just my two cents with digital marketing. One last question I'm going to throw in there, a little, little curveball since we since we talked about it. Besides uh, Seth's course, what are some good courses that, that you've taken over the years? I haven't taken any like general business courses. I've only taken like either digital marketing or real estate or photography, videography. So I guess that's kind of hard to make a decision there. I mean, the marketing course that I took before besides the Ty Lopez course with Billie Jean, which I thought was decent. I thought it was pretty good, but it was really expensive. And I didn't know it was only for a year. So that kind of bummed me out. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I guess I don't have a good one for you. For me, uh, there, there's two courses that really stand out in my mind. One of them is actually not available anymore. I, I, I've taken some good ones. There's, there's some that you take and you're like, okay, but you know, this is good. But the two courses that really stand out that were like great were, um, Graham Stephan's YouTube course. Oh, but, I did take that course. I took that one. Yeah. Yeah. That course was phenomenal. And I don't know if it's still good for like updated times because that I think it came out in like 2017, 2018, maybe 2018, I think. Yeah, I don't know. it came out a couple of years ago. Um, but that course was so spot on. I mean, he did such a good job. And then the other yeah. one that I took that was phenomenal was I actually it's not available anymore. I, I just looked recently. Um, but of course, I still have access to it because I bought it way back then. But it's Consulting Accelerator by Sam Ovens. Okay. But yeah. Yeah, so that, that was a really good one. Well, hey, thank you so much for coming on the channel, Lillian. I really appreciate it. Uh, thanks for coming on and sharing your story. I think this is going to motivate and inspire a lot of people out there. Um, so, so yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for having me.